uh, Andreas, uh, the question from my side would be, uh, during the hard fork, what do we do with our Bitcoins? Where and how to store it? Okay. During the hard fork, what do you do with your Bitcoins? Where and how do you store it? How many people here are familiar with what the concept of a hard fork is, at least on a basic level? All right. Okay. Quite a few. So there is a process in Bitcoin when there is um, a disagreement or a change in the rules, whereby uh, Bitcoin can split into two systems that operate in parallel. This is unprecedented. It doesn't happen on a planned basis anyway, very often. And in fact, there is a lot of effort to avoid it, because it can have severe monetary consequences for those who attempt to do it. But there is always the possibility that it might happen. If it does happen, the ledger is replicated on both sides, meaning that if you have a key that controls a certain value, that key will control that value on both sides, because both sides will have the same ancestry. Right? Now, that you may at first think, whoa, does that mean I have twice as many coins? <laughs> yeah. Um, no. It does mean you have twice as many coins, but one thing I can almost guarantee you is that they are now worth half as much or less than what the single coin was before. We have actually seen some of the currencies that do Ponzi schemes in this space um, make massive announcements to rooms full of people. You now have double the amount of coins! Remember how I told you people don't understand money? What they should do is scream back, you crooks! Inflation is terrible! Double the amount of coins means they are worth less than half, because you have now broken your promises. <laughs> Instead, they go, yay, I have double the amount of coins. Because when they were six, mommy couldn't answer the question, why can't we all have more money? Um, double the amount of coins is not a good thing. And it will damage the price of Bitcoin temporarily. Um, however, I think in the long run, we will see that Bitcoin also survives these kinds of attacks. It will survive these kinds of activities. And the reason it will survive is because it is designed to be a resilient, self-healing, anti-fragile system, which does not work only when things are going okay. It is a system that is designed to work when it is being attacked, always being attacked. Um, the assumption is that it is being attacked all the time. And the reason Bitcoin survives this day is not because it hasn't been attacked, but because it has been attacked every single day for eight years, survived and improved because of these attacks, and grown stronger. It has a reactive immune system. And this is nothing more than a network-based attack. And if it happens, it will be resisted by the immune system. And Bitcoin will survive it. Or some mutated evolutionary outcome of Bitcoin that is now resistant to that particular attack will evolve out of it. Either way, even if this destroyed the fundamental technology of Bitcoin, it would give us the most valuable lesson of all, which was how to build the next version to resist exactly that attack uh, and improve on it. Well, right? Where to store and how to store? Where to store and how to store? Yep. Um, what happens to your Bitcoin? If it is your Bitcoin, nothing. The question is, is it your Bitcoin? And that is answered best by whether you control the keys. Okay. Right? If you control the keys directly, um, then after you can decide what to do with it, I would expect a cooling off period where people don't do too many transactions, because they are waiting to see how this plays out. So sit still, hold tight, and wait until things clarify themselves. Your coins aren't going anywhere. They are not being invalidated in any way. Um, if you have coins on an exchange, and you are significantly worried about the event of a fork, uh, and you have an investment that uh, it scares you, uh, one, you have invested too much, and two, it would probably be a good idea to remove your money before the fork to an address that you control, so that you can have that ability to decide what to do with it. Right? Not all exchanges will be able to support both sides of the fork. 